Welcome to Good News Heroes on Unite Radio. I'm Valerie. Last time on Good News Heroes, Shandy Ray got a message from Stepin. He became trapped in Kashmir on his way to deliver the Tibetan Bible to the printing press. Will Shandu be able to rescue Stepin? Let's find out. And then the missionary told us about how there are some languages that don't have writing in their language. They communicate and keep records orally. So some translators do audio translations and readings of the Bible for those people to listen to. Wow, that must be fascinating to help translate an audio Bible. He played a section of John 3 of a translation they did for Ethiopia. It was so cool! You know, I thought that translation was boring. And the missionary even said that sometimes the work can be boring. But then he showed pictures of people reading the Bible in their language for the first time. They all looked so happy. He says that God uses that to help make all the work, even the boring days, totally worth it. That's incredible! It sounds like you guys learned a lot today. I wish he'd come to our service too. He's still in the United States for a little longer. You can ask Miss Vicky or Pastor Dave. You know, I think I will. Great idea. I'd love to hear about his work, too. He's still working on a translation. I asked him if more than 30 years was a long time for Bible translation, because that's how long I think Yoseb worked on it. And he said that it was. With the technology that we have now, and with all the missionaries working on translation, a translation usually doesn't take longer than 20 years but that's still a long time to me. Yep, Bible translation takes a lot of trust, expertise, and patience. Oh, but I'm not too patient. I want to know if Shandu rescued Stepan. Yeah, me too. Please, our food is going to take a while anyways. That was as good a time as ever. Shandu knew he had to hurry. In his message, Stepan didn't tell Shandu where he was exactly, but that made sense because if he had, the soldiers in Kashmir might have thought Stepan was a spy giving the enemy their location. Shandu had to be really careful and it was hard to find a fast passageway to Kashmir. Oh, oh, could he find a missionary pilot to take him? Like Nate Saint did for the other missionaries. Actually, he had a similar idea. There wasn't a missionary pilot close to him, but Shandu did find an airplane taking one last trip to Kashmir. So Shandu quickly bought a ticket and rushed to the airport. But then the airplane manager told Shandu the government canceled the plane. Oh no, not another delay. But God gave Shandu an idea. Shandu asked the airline to refund everyone. The airline couldn't give everyone their money back, so the plane took off for Kashmir. Oh good. Shandu landed safely in Kashmir, then began the long hike to track down Stepan. Stop! Who goes there? Uh, hello. My name is Chandure. I I am a preacher. What's a preacher doing this close to Kashmir? This is a dangerous path to be taking, preacher. I have books for you and your men to read. You came all the way to bring us books? Well, not just any books. These are called the Four Gospels, and they're in your language. Our soldiers speak a couple different languages. I brought copies of the Gospels in different languages. Whatever your men speak, I I may have a copy in their language. Why did you bring us these? And why all the way out here? Because I want you to know the good news of Jesus. That is what these books talk about. Who's Jesus? Jesus is God the Son. He came from his home in heaven to earth to die on a cross to take the punishment for the wrong things you do, and he came back to life. He did all this so you could be forgiven for the bad things you've done and have a friendship with God forever. These gospel books tell true stories of what Jesus did on earth and teachings he gave about how to have a relationship with God. Forever? Relationship with God? Huh, that sounds more exciting than this boring job. All we do is stand here and wait for people to come just so we can turn them away. Exactly. Our men will be glad for something to read. Thank you, Preacher. You're welcome. Uh, Did you really come all this way just to bring us books? There is another purpose to my journey. I'm looking for a friend. He was traveling to Lahore to share the same message, but I heard he was trapped in Kashmir. I'm trying to find him. How long have you been traveling? I took a plane to Kashmir but I've been hiking for the last three days. 
Well, I think I know where your friend might be. We can help you find him, but it's still a little farther, and it will be very dangerous. Are you absolutely sure you want to go there? Yes, I do. Oh, thank you, and I I'm not afraid. God has helped me this far, and I, I know he will be with me the rest of the way. All right. Your friend should be somewhere nearby. If you do find him, we'll be at the front with the other soldiers. We'll make sure you two can leave safely. Thank you. Thank you, gentlemen. You're welcome. And good luck. Stepan! 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 It's Tundere! I'm here, Stepan! Shandu, is it really you? Stepan, it's me! You got my message! You're here! Praise God, you're safe! Are you all right? You look a little ill. Oh, I felt better, but I felt worse. I'm so sorry. Once I reached this area, they said I couldn't leave. How did you even get here? A long story. <laughs> I'll tell you later. But God has worked a miracle. We can leave and go to Nohora together. I've arranged for an airplane and a train to take us the rest of the way. Oh, praise God! I can't wait to get out of here. I've never been on a plane or a train before. How exciting! Shandu? Yes? I've decided. I hate trains. The plane was amazing. It's incredible how those machines stay in the air. But the train was so miserable. It was stuffy. It was hot. And if God hadn't answered our prayer for rain, I would have passed out from the heat. Well, thank God he did, and that the train ride is over. Come on, we've made it to Lahore. The, the printing press is so close. Yes, we're... we're almost done. The Bible is almost printed. But Shandu... What? The heat... is still draining me. I feel sick. I still have some work to do to prepare the Bible for printing. What do we do? Hmm... <gasps> I've got an idea. Come on to the printing press offices. There. That's 50 blocks of ice, all stacked up in this office. Here in your ice cave, you're safe from the heat and you can get your work done. Shandu, you're a genius. I feel so much better already. The work will be finished in no time. Stepan and Pastor Chandu, they've returned! <gasps> Stepan is back! He's alive! Oh, praise God! Stepan! Stepan! Oh, my dear! <laughs> oh, you're back! <laughs> oh, my darling! I was so afraid you were dead! It's been so long! I know, I know, I'm so sorry, my dear. But look! Wait, wait! Is, is that really? Yes! The Tibetan Bible is finished! Now you can read the entire Bible in your own language. Come, come get your Bible, your own Bible, friends! Are you all right, friend? Yes. I realized Joseph's prayer has finally been answered in full. The Bible has legs and has run into Tibet to tell them the good news of Jesus. I just wish he was here to witness it. Shantu, do you know how long the translation took? I know I worked on it for many years, as did you and Dr. Franca and Yosip, but I don't know how long in total. Oh, let me think. Hmm. Yes, there was uh, 
there were also Dr. Haida and a few others before him as well. I think about um, 90 years. 90 years? Why would God let the Bible take so long? <laughs> I've been thinking and praying about this too. And I believe God has shown me the answer. What is it? Think about all that's happened in the last 90 years. If God had allowed the Bible to be finished at the beginning, the Tibetan government would have banned and burned it. And in all the war our country and the surrounding countries have been through, the Bible would have been destroyed then too. If the Bible hadn't been in London during the World War, it would have likely been destroyed in the chaos. It almost was destroyed even there. But God stopped the bomb from blowing up the cathedral where it lay safe. And just think about all the copies we lost trying to get the Bible to Lahore. What if that hadn't been a copy? What if it had been the only manuscript? Then the Bible would have taken even longer to finish. But now, now, Tibet is open to the good news of Jesus. No government leader will stop the people from reading it in their homes or keeping us from reading it together in church. We are free to read God's word in our own language. I never thought of that. It's been hard and at times it seemed like it would never get done. But now I'm starting to see what it means that God is in control. Yes, God's timing is always perfect. He was always going to answer Yosef's prayer. And now many lives will be changed. Whoa, God worked in so many different ways to give the Bible to Tibet. He certainly did. And we can remember that as we pray for other people who don't have the Bible in their language yet. Our missionaries today said there are still millions of people who don't have a Bible. We can ask God to give their Bible legs too. That's a great idea, Piper. All right, who ordered the mac and cheese? Me, thank you. There you go, and the buffalo burger with tater tots? Over here. Fish and chips? Oh, here. Double bacon wrapped burger? Me. And you must be the chicken sandwich with onion rings. Enjoy. Thank you. Piper, Logan, uh, would you two like to pray for our food and for other Bibles to get legs? Yeah. yeah! God, thank you for the missionary who visited Kids Church today. He was super cool. And please help him give his Bible translations legs so it can run to the people and they can read all about you in their language. And please be with all the other translators. Help them be patient and trust you. And bless this food. Amen. Amen. You can pray for Bible translations too. Right now there are thousands of languages spoken by millions of people that don't have a full Bible. Will you pray and ask God to help the missionaries translating the Bible into those languages? For more information about statistics on Bible translation, visit the Scripture Access Statistics page on Wycliffe.net. A link will be in the episode's description. Thanks for tuning in to Good News Heroes on Unite Radio. Join Piper, Logan, and Uncle Mike next time for a new Good News Hero story.